Welcome to Britannica International School Shanghai. Located in the heart of the city, Britannica International School Shanghai offers a full British curriculum, adapted and extended to meet the needs of international students. We are British owned and staffed by British qualified teachers delivering the very best of British education. These are the highest quality, fully trained British teachers selected for their excellence and experience. All teachers at Britannica are fully qualified in their specific subject areas. This ranges from our early years provision, which is two years of age, through to A-level, which is 17 and 18 years of age, where our students currently achieve the highest level of pass rates. In addition to the core curriculum, which is taught via the medium of English, Britannica International Shanghai recognises the importance of individual countries, nationalities and their identities. As a result, Britannica's unique native language programme currently offers native language lessons provided by qualified teachers in Mandarin, English, French, Spanish, Italian, Japanese, Korean and Hebrew. Our purpose-built campus features a wide range of teaching facilities, including art and specialist teaching areas, junior and senior libraries and a fully equipped ICT suite. Being relatively small compared to some of the international schools in Shanghai, Britannica International School can guarantee each student has access to the very best educational opportunities. This means that each child is known by all in the school and each child has the opportunity to have the curriculum perfectly matched to their individual learning needs. Our vision has always been to balance a drive for the highest academic standards, balanced with an inclusive approach for children of all backgrounds and interests. At Britannica International School Shanghai, I look to the superb teachers and support staff to continually offer the very best of British education for all of our children. At Britannica, we know that each child is special and you, as parents, have high aspirations for their happiness and future academic success. Britannica students will be the leaders of tomorrow, global citizens, and will attend the world's best universities. It is our aspiration to enable them to do that. Hello, my name is Elaine Fu. I'm the head of Mandarin here at Britannica. I joined the school in 2013 when the school opened. Uh, now it is my seventh year in the school. As a founding member of the Britannica staff, I'm proud to say that Mandarin has been a crucial part of the school's curriculum since its opening, and it has remained so as the school has grown. Mandarin is a mandatory subject for students from early years up to Key Stage 3. It is also offered as an option for IGCSE and A-level subject. In early years and primary school, children have daily Mandarin lessons to ensure they have frequent exposure to the Mandarin language. And in secondary school, students have four lessons a week. In addition to that, native Chinese speakers at school will also have the option to have in total seven lessons a week. Britannica is a truly international community. Mandarin learners here come from a variety of backgrounds and with different needs and expectations. It is therefore essential for us to design Mandarin curriculum to cater for a range of abilities and needs. Let's start with our non-native program. For non-native learners who study Mandarin as a foreign language at Britannica, our focus is to help them develop the ability to communicate effectively and cross-culturally. In our Mandarin lessons, students learn through interactive activities such as role plays, interviews, oral presentations, to build their language skills through a communicative context. Our aim is to prepare our learners to be independent, confident, and accurate user of Mandarin. I would like to share the successful example, Zhang, a Korean student here at Britannica. Zhang joined year seven as a complete beginner to Mandarin. But after a few years studying Mandarin with us, he has become a very confident, fluent Mandarin speaker who is keen to communicate in Mandarin. In 2017, John has volunteered to be the MC for our Chinese New Year celebration, making his announcement in Mandarin. It was a huge success. 
He was later very proud to tell me the positive feedbacks he has received. He said that all the Korean moms who come to watch the show said that he sounds like a native Chinese speaker. Last year in 2019, John has achieved an A in his IGCSE Mandarin exam. We are of course very proud of John, but not only because of his great exam result, but also for his progress in proficiency, his communication skills, and with the confidence he has acquired in Mandarin during his time with us. John returned to Korea after he completed his IGCSE exams. But Mandarin will be a language he continues to study. In our non-native Mandarin program, we also introduce Chinese culture to our non-native learners. It is done in lessons and through various cultural activities, such as traditional festival celebrations and school trips. This enables our learners to have a better understanding of Chinese culture and to increase their awareness of the cultural differences when communicating with Chinese people. For native speakers, learning Mandarin is more than learning just a language. As we know, one's native language plays an important role in the construction of one's personal, cultural and social identity. Our mother language holds the key to understanding and communicating our native culture. The Native Chinese program at Britannica is based on China's national curriculum for Chinese language and literature, but is adapted to suit the needs of students studying in an English-speaking school. We prepare our native Chinese learners with the skills needed to access, comprehend, and appreciate Chinese literature, as well as helping them understand the philosophy, history, and the traditions and the values of their native culture in order to help them shape their cultural identity and enhance their cultural confidence. In addition to the regular Mandarin first language curriculum, Mandarin is also offered as one of the options for the native language program for students in reception to Key Stage 3. This allows our Mandarin first language learners to have the choice of having up to seven lessons a week. In those additional lessons, students have the opportunity to study a selection of texts from Asian Chinese poems, classical Chinese literature, and for younger learners, stories and tales. This is in addition to our regular use of our textbook, so as to further increase their access to Chinese literature. This also enables our learners to develop a deeper understanding of the historical and cultural context of Chinese literature. Hi, I'm Eloise Phillips. I'm Head of English here at Britannica. Learners with very little English at the beginning of their career at Britannica have absolutely nothing to worry about. We are very, very lucky to have a highly specialised EAL support system in place here. Our EAL provision here at Britannica is divided into two programmes. So, for those who have had very little exposure to, um, to English, whether that be academically or socially, they are able to enter a sheltered curriculum. What this means is they have intense English one-on-one -on -one support with an individual teacher. This one-on-one -on -one support helps them to grow in confidence and we do truly believe that confidence is key to language acquisition. The sheltered curriculum breaks English as a language down to the very, very basics and then from these basics builds the individual student up to a point where they feel confident enough to join the classroom with their peers. At this stage, the pupil will be assessed and if the teacher and the pupil themselves feels as though they are confident enough to move into the classroom alongside other students where the instruction will be in English, then they, uh, they will be assessed and they will be able to do that. At this point, the student moves into the second stage of um, programmes provided by our specialist EAL support. They have in-class support by a specialist EAL, English as an additional language, teacher. What this means is if at first they feel slightly underconfident or may feel as though they are not able to keep up with the class, 
the specialist teacher will be with them at all times and able to guide them through the lesson at maybe more of a slower pace. However, this stage is really important for the socialisation of the child, of the student, as here at Britannica we are very diverse and have a huge range of languages spoken, but English is the unifying language and therefore having English at a comfortable and academic level will enable them to progress further and further and further. As they move into in-class support, they will grow in confidence, which we have seen over and over again. This is really wonderful to witness, and as they grow in confidence, they get more active and become more active in the learning. So the eventual goal for language learners would be to move out of this EAL support entirely, whereas they began with the sheltered curriculum by themselves, moved into class support, and then eventually be able to succeed in that class by themselves. We're very lucky here at Britannica to be able to support this, as all teachers are trained to a very high British standard. Being able to support English as an additional language learners is a huge part of teacher training in Britain. What this means is that all teachers at Britannica are highly trained and highly skilled in this area. So once your child does move out of having in-class support and the sheltered curriculum, this does not mean that their lessons are not supported and that every single teacher is not individualising each lesson for your child. Each lesson and each activity within the lesson is highly, highly supported in order to help each child progress and succeed. At Botanica, student engagement is the ultimate measure of success for us. So what we are aiming, especially within English, is to have the children up and active in their learning. We use research methods like talk for writing in order to help us achieve this. Due to the small class sizes and personalised learning here at Britannica, which is highly scaffolded and highly supported, all students are able to make huge progress despite their previous levels of English. As mentioned earlier, the acquisition of Chinese language at Britannica is one of our main goals. Elaine, could you tell us how a Chinese student achieves complete bilingualism while they're here at Britannica? Research has proven that mother language lives harmoniously with the acquisition of other languages, making it possible to develop bilingualism for Chinese speakers in an English-speaking school through our native Chinese program. As I previously mentioned, children from a native Chinese-speaking background are grouped together to study Mandarin at Britannica, following a curriculum that is adapted from China's National Curriculum of Language and Literature. It is adapted to suit the needs of um, children who are studying it in an English-speaking school. In addition to our regular Mandarin first language curriculum, Mandarin is also offered as one of the options for the native language program, which allows our native Chinese learners to have the choice of having up to seven lessons a week. During these additional lessons, children have the opportunity to study a range of a selection of texts, including ancient Chinese poems, um, classical Chinese literature and for younger learners, tales and stories, and these enabled students to have more access to Chinese literature and to deepen their understanding of the historical and cultural background of this Chinese literature. So Elaine, many of our parents, both Chinese and foreign, when they join the school, they're very interested in the end product in terms of examination results. Could you tell me a bit about the examination results in the Mandarin department, please? Um, at Britannica, we are very proud of the exam results of our students. They regularly achieve higher marks in the exams. Especially in 2019, we got a very imp impressive result that all of our students achieved A to A star, regardless of native or non-native program. Some of them actually started as completely beginner to Mandarin when they joined with us. Um, one of our students, whose native language is English, has achieved a top mark for the exam of Mandarin as a foreign language. 
So that was the that was the top mark in GCSE for all students in China? It's for all students in the world. All students in the world. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay, so we've just spoke about the successes in terms of student progress and examination results in the Mandarin department. Eloise, as Head of English, could you please tell me why you feel that specialised support in English is critical for the acquisition of the English language? Yeah, I mean, I think confidence is critical for the acquisition of the English language. Coming in as a non-native speaker can be terrifying and any help that you can have with combating that fear is absolutely essential. Here we're very, very lucky to have a really specialised department with English as an additional language. We have two programmes that work fantastically together with that. So if you have a low level of English or very little to no exposure to the language, then there is a sheltered curriculum. So that fear of going into a class and not understanding what on earth is going on is completely removed from the outset and you have the specialised one-on-one -on -one support with a teacher that you get to know really, really well. Um, once you feel confident in moving away from that and back into the classroom, you can have in-class support. That in-class support is essential in order to help you feel confident to take part in the lesson, but also to socialise with your peers. Once the student feels able to socialise with their peers, picking up the language and the colloquialisms within the language becomes much easier and feels much, much more natural. I would like to thank you all for listening to our presentation and discussions today. Hopefully you can see that Britannica International School Shanghai offers something unique in the city, where we manage to combine a blend of the English curriculum with a unique Mandarin language programme. We hope to see you, your family and your children at our Gubei campus at Britannica International School Shanghai in the very near future. Thank you.